Hello, welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us. My name is Sachin Shaw, and I have a, my wife in the, behind the camera, Liz Shaw. She's taking a video today. Uh, today we're gonna bring you a practically one owner, 2005 Forest River Tsunami model 3704QS. That's 3704QS. That's for quad slide, 400 horse, Freightliner XC raised rail chassis, side mount radiator. The purpose of this video is to show you good, bad, and ugly. This motorhome, I would say, it's got a lots and lots and lots and lots, tons of good stuff. May have a few scratches in here, here and there. I'm going to show, point that out. 3M film been removed professionally. Beautiful, okay? Windshields are free from any major cracks. I see one little star crack right here. That's only like about six inches above the windshield line, but it's out of your vision area, if you could imagine, right here. Crown was repainted. Uh, this person, Chris, we bought this motorhome from, a nice gentleman. Uh, I guess in some area of my life, I'm OCD. He was obsessive, I mean, OCD man. Took care of this coach so well, so whoever's gonna buy it's gonna get a benefit of it. Uh, generator is 8,000 watts, so it is not 4,000 watts, I mean 7,500 watts, but it's 4,000, it's got 8,000 watts, I'm sorry. Not 7,500 watts, but 8,000 watts. It's got a electric, uh, hydraulic slide that comes out and in. Check it out. So, I don't have to open it all the way up, but it is an 8,000 watts on-end generator, but a 561 hours, I believe. By the time we get done with the video, it may be 562 hours, but very, very low hours. Look at this compartment. Clean, absolutely clean. I had to buy his Mini because I knew if the coach was in this shape, his Mini was nice. We got a tow car too, but it's not for sale. <laughs> All right, windows are not foggy. You can take a look at it. The uh, mirrors are in a great shape. No, uh, you know, what do you call those, oxidation. Just a beautiful coach. Look at the paint scheme. I mean, it looks like a 2019. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, it's got few flaws that I'll point them out. Continental tires, look at this. No dry rider cracks. He has a tire cover. I mean, they had tire covers on them. They are like 33 of 11. It could be installed in 12 or 13. They may be six, seven years old. But look at this. Tires are just very healthy. Uh, it, the coach was always kept in the shed and had a tire cover. So you may have another year or two out of it. I've got a receipts in there. They're about a two inch thick and has a $60,000, almost around $60,000 worth of a, a maintenance done. I mean, all right, check this out. Aqua hot heating. That is a $10,500 add on. I have a window sticker. We'll put on RVT and RV Trader. You can look at it. He serviced his own. The guy was very knowledgeable and you can, nowadays you can see DIY video, DIY video on a YouTube and you can service it. Every year you gotta clean the burners out. I mean, uh, clean up, uh, you know, just keep it, keep it uh, maintained. Let's see, this thing is a little hard to open. All right, that is your aqua hot heating panel there. This is a slide out tray that slides out on, should be on both sides. Yep, it, indeed it does. Uh, guys, you, you guys probably know what that are. They, they are, just put it under here. Head bumpers. They're swimming tube, but got a bunch of spare water filter cartridges. Another big tire covers are there. Yeah, we'll open up on the other side. Yep, thank you. All right, let's see. Uh, and you see this in 2005, it's got a side opening doors. Bunch of wood blocks, spare tire. He made his own little shelf back there so you can put hose there and take a look at this exterior. It's just beautiful. So I think if you compare a Forest River of today and compare this on 05, this is a better quality coach. This is your wash bay. See, this is a, almost all electric coach. It has a household refrigerator. That's where you store all the stuff. Glow box, auxiliary shower, sewer hose, another sewer hose here. Black tank has got electric, uh, the gates. I mean, look how clean this thing is. It's, it's crazy, crazy clean. 
Once again, look at the Continental tires. Not a single hair crack I see from any wood they're checking. There's nothing wrong with these tires. I know there's a folks on the internet, they want to change the tires every five years, go knock yourself off. It'll be about two, three thousand, four thousand, depending on the uh, model, Chinese, Japanese, Asian, Korean, or American tires. It depends. It's a global economy on some of this stuff. So, all right, here we have a 50 amp power cord. Uh, it's on electric uh, reel, and that's an IOTA. It's a automatic trans automatic transfer switch. Side mount radiator. It rides on a Freightliner raised rail. Side mount radiator chassis. It's a I think it's called XC. So when you open this thing up, uh, oh it is open. Thank God. All right. This is where you see your ISL engine. That is a ISL 400 horsepower, 8.9 liter motor. Beautiful running machine. Our driver that drove back from Florida to here said, man, this thing ran like uh, nothing he has driven lately. He brought a couple of Monaco's week before this. This thing rode better than a Roadmaster Monaco. Uh, got a Reese Type 5 hitch, 10,000 pound towing capacity, huge capacity uh, towing. We'll get up on top and show you a beautiful, beautiful roof up on top. I mean, I don't see any damage yet, okay? I mean, is that a damage? No. It's not. I mean, something could buff out. I haven't seen any damage. Maybe there is one little light scratch, but take a look at this paint skin. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, even the black part right here, no checking. I can't see any, okay? It's in beautiful, beautiful condition. Electric patio awning, electric entrance awning. So you got two slides on passenger side and two slides on the other side. Uh, I almost like to know what's in here. It could be outside entertainment. Let's see what that is. It's not that key, then uh, it could be this key. Oh, that's the back side of your Amana refrigerator if you wanted to do service. How about that? Look how clean this thing is. I mean, wow. It is just absolutely in new condition. Okay, we forgot a couple of compartments. That is your manifold. You can turn if you ever develop water leak in kitchen faucet you can turn it off and you can still use your coach that's like a high dollar motor home you see it's got two water pumps i'll show you on a, i think it's in one of this compartment somewhere it's got two water pumps it's crazy this this thing was built like a uh monaco signatures or some highline coaches you know a king gear of nowadays of newmar 3100 watts huge inverter lp tank down there that's another three thousand dollar upgrade back then. Eight new batteries, or oh, they're 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 in good shape. Eight deep cycle interstate batteries, and two for cranking. So you got a total of ten batteries. Once again, I can't get over it. Continental, they, they look like brand new. Lots of trades. They've been everywhere. By the way, uh, it's got around eighty thousand miles, and I'll I'll. Right in my description. This is the scratch I was talking about. My guys haven't buffed it, but I bet you can buff it out. It's, it's not deep. It could be buffed out. That's the only thing I've kind of seen that jumped at me, okay? Uh, those people have subscribed to our channel. I like to find flaws, and I haven't found a whole lot yet. Oh, we opened this one. Sorry. All right, over here, you got a two doors. One open up this way, and another one has got two little latches. One down and one on top. That's the other side of the, look at this huge compartment, slide out tray. And this is where you saw from the other side, my wife was showing and that's four tire covers, neatly folded, put up. These are your emergency triangles. These are your extra water filters. Oh, you got a TV hookup with a uh, three like red, white and yellow hookup, little 12 volt cigarette lighter type of charger for 12 volt TV. Got two of them. Nowadays, I'll use that for to charge my phone. A ladder that goes with the motorhome. That's a ladder. Let's see what's in here. This is where the water pumps are. Check it out. Three big, huge filter water filter. It's winterized right now. Uh, one pump here, one pump there. So if you're taking a shower or something, it, 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 it cranks up. 
please take a look at our pictures and it'll show uh, there's a little schematic in operation, operating instruction when you're going to winterize or what you're going to do. That may be another little scratch I see there. That's about two things I found, the light scratch and that one's a little deeper gouge scratch on the bottom. But look at the slide out and the paint scheme is just gorgeous. I can't get over it how nice it is. I mean, it's got a mirror effect. That's the NDSU man, North Dakota State University. They're a national champ. They've been in every state, including Alaska, except the Hawaii. And uh, so they, they've been in every state. That's where the 80,000 miles come from. All right, let's step in this coach. We're gonna have to take our shoes off. I mean, look, look at this in interior. It looks like, it, it's crazy, crazy clean, okay? We're gonna walk in, we're gonna take our shoes off and continue this video. And then when we'll come back out, Boo Boo, remind me, we gotta get up on top and show them the roof condition. All righty, let's see. I'm gonna turn this TV volume down. All right, he got a smart TV, Samsung. Yeah, of course, it is not a 2005 model. So he changed it to a 32 inch Samsung smart TV. So you go to a different campground. If you got the Wi-Fi, you can stream your Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever have you. Uh, got a Harman Kardon DVD player, which you could toss it out, put a Blu-ray player. It does, an optional list, it does have an in-motion satellite dish. Uh, let's see what's over here. Old Pioneer, old school uh, 10 disc changer or, yep. It's got, oh, by the way, it's got a DHS mobile theater system. It is absolutely phenomenal audio system. I mean, it's just, just one of the best I've, I've heard. Uh, it's got a fold out camera. We need to change the camera back there. The camera was disconnected. So backup monitor, we'll have that fixed prior to delivery, okay? Uh, take a look at this. The step cover, matching tile. So it's a flax steel uh, recliner. Both furniture looks to be in good shape. This one has electric recliner. By the way, the both are power seats. And uh, this is nice. So if your wife is driving, like my wife does, uh, you can just relax here. Imagine looking at on your phone or something. And pretty big seat. It's a nice co-passenger, a co-pilot seat, I guess that's what you could call it. Uh, so they're both power seat. Uh, Flax steel, really good shape, no tears or any excessive wear with 80,000 miles. All right, so previous owner, Chris, had done something. It's like a iPad hookup. You can go from here to the mini hookup, and it'll play with your Pioneer. I mean, you know, you could, we don't get too much in audio video, but you can change a lot of stuff. All right, we have a hydraulic, it's a computerized HWH air leveling. It's got air leveling, no jacks. It's air leveling, 12-volt hookup here. Six-speed Allison, heated mirrors, power brakes, message center. Let me turn that message center on. So it'll come on. Let me crank this motorhome up. Yep, Freightliner, custom chassis. 427, 2019. Wow, it is updated. Today's date. I've seen a lot of motorhomes I buy. They're like, the batteries were disconnected. And that, that, that's something you see. A uh, previous owner was, you know, very particular about it. Engine temperature, travel. A transmission temperature, your uh, RPM meter. So it shows 30,273, but it's it was right around 50,000 miles. I've got a documentation for it. Uh, a few years ago, it just flashed out to 8,000 miles. It dropped from like, uh, he had a ride at 30 some thousand miles or 54,000 miles and it dropped to 8,000 miles. So there's a, you do the multiplication, uh, not multiplication, but addition. And it's around 80, 82,000 miles. Let's see, air horn. It's got a, I don't know how come the air needs to build up before the air horn comes on. All right, let's see, headlights. All the lights comes on. You got pedal adjustment. So you can adjust pedal of, depending on the height of the driver. Uh, radio button here. And so, you know, I'm not gonna get too detailed in it. All your, uh, voltmeter and front air, rear air, oil temperature, oil pressure, fuel, everything is here. Uh, smart steering wheel, you turn your cruise on and all that. Um, so let's see what else I can uh, cover here. Oh, it's got a, let's see, tilt, 
and telescopic steering wheel. Um, I don't know why air horn didn't come on, but the air conditioning is cold. We'll, we'll get on the highway and kind of do a little test drive. We may let our son do it, I don't know. Uh, rear camera, like I said, we're going to fix that. Let's see what's in here. Oh, Weather Pro automatic awning is here. By the way, it's got a remote uh, entry door key. I've got two of these, okay? So you can lock and unlock, and they work. I've got two sets of keys. The buzzer you hear, or you may not, it's for the headlights. I had left headlights on and turned the engine off. All right, let's see. Look at the carpet. Now, those of the uh, folks that have subscribed to our channel, we usually rip out all the carpet and put hardwood floors. This is the first coach that kind of goes in our books that I'm thinking about living a carpet alone. They've never wore shoes in it. They took shoes off and walked in this coach. I mean, it is in great shape. Check it out. It's, it's just, just extra clean. Let's see what's here. That's all. Magic bed, it'll open up, jackknife. You take this off and it'll open up. Look at the sofa, it's in really, really good shape. By the way, it's got a cherry cabinetry that was, um, I have to look it up, I've got a window sticker and it's, I think it's like $3,000 upgrade. It says, uh, there it is, it's a uh, uh, hardwood cherry interior cabinetry, $5,250 ad. Uh, while I'm at it, I'll tell you some. Uh, Aqua Hot, $10,535 ad. Uh, 3100 watts inverter with the four additional batteries, 1365, that's not a bad ad, you know. Solar panel, 80 watts, we're going to check that out on top when we get there, 980 bucks. Uh, Blase's got a lot of this uh, ads, we'll check it out. Now here's something you're going to love to see. I think our son just took some pictures, mine, and he, uh, I made him spread out all the service records. Check this out. We got about an inch thick if you push it in. Uh, almost sixty thousand dollars. We added it up. Don't hold exactly sixty. It may be sixty-two thousand. It may be fifty-eight thousand. But it's got all kinds of records. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, this is not your typical repo, which we don't sell repos. You can get some great bargain on internet. Uh, some of those repossessed that the coaches are not taken care of. But guess what? You just what you pay, what you get. You're gonna get some junk, and you're gonna work on it every weekend instead of going camping. So, this thing is in phenomenal shape for a used motorhome. Take a look at this hard surface Corian countertops. Um, wow. Beautiful wooden cherry wood. Let's see, that might be a long. Some people get bored when I open all the drawers, but hey, I'd rather show you everything. If you're going to travel 10 hours or cross country, uh, three days driving from California to here, well, usually it takes about a week. Uh, that's Amana if my LP may be cut off okay but we'll we'll you see all this little stuff he put in here so it won't shake or uh, make any noise that's why he's got this little rubber pieces on each side convection oven I mean look at this thing Ooh, would you think it's like a brand new? I mean, it looks like somebody detailed it. This, we haven't done anything to this coach besides just washing some Florida bugs off the front windshield. All right. Double, let's see, it's a dual sinks. Wow, I love this little stuff that so it wouldn't make any noise. All right, speaking of all the stuff, I saw a little cracked in a corner, okay? You get that for free, no extra charge. Uh, oh, he said he changed all the backsplash. The mirror was kind of going bad, so he put this. This is actual design, okay? That's the way the backsplash is. A little spice rack. Oh, man, oh, that's pretty deep, deeper than spice rack. You can put all kinds of canned goods and cereals and all that stuff. Another big deep space there. All right, so I love this little U-shape booth dinette. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll become bed or not, but uh, it sure has some storage under there. Yep, some storage there, right? Let me turn this on. Let's see if it shows a little more now. <laughs> There's a little storage there, right? Yeah, awesome. 
I love this. This is pretty futuristic. You know, in 2005, you had seen this in like a high dollar coaches like American Heritage, Prevo Signature, all these lights under it. Look at this. I mean, it's beautiful wood. Uh, this sofa, let's see what it does. Oh, it's got little storage under here. I would call this lounge J sofa. Take a look at this day and night shades. Really, really good shape. Nice little, what do you call this, window treatments around it? Just beautiful. Beautiful woodwork. So we have, a, let's see if it's got a heat pump or not. I'm going to find that out in a second. Mode. Heat pump. Yep, it does have heat pumps. Kind of thought so. Coach of this caliber. Got a Amana household refrigerator. You got to take this little thing out. Check this out. Household refrigerator. I love household refrigerator. They cool fast and they have a less drama than LP refrigerator, okay? Uh, LP refrigerator can burn your coach up too. <laughs> and they give you a lot more problem. So household refrigerator. All right, see right here we have a command center. So it's got an auto gen start. This is your uh, monitor panel. This is your, uh, it's called uh, electronic, it's called IntelliTech. Uh, Electronic control load, it tells you uh, 31 amps are being used by two air conditioners right now. 587 hours, I correct. I said 561 early, 587.3. It'll probably be 588. Um, all this stuff, it, this is your Magnum Energy uh, remote control for generator. Also, it's got auto gen start, inverter, all that stuff is in here. All right, we have a little pocket door here that'll just... Oh, it's got a nice mirror in the back. When you come this way, we will see it. Uh, nice little sink here. All the chemicals, you get them. Little trash can. Medicine cabinet here. Fantastic fan. There are a couple of fantastic fans. They are uh, thermostatically controlled. Uh, and I think he's got a louvers on top. We'll check that out when we finish our video. Uh, we've got a nice private toilet area. And you see how it is? It's not winterized, but plastic cover on it. I mean, this is how we got it. Okay, it's got a vacu uh, vacu flush. Um, this is another fantastic fan that you control it from here. A little cabinet on the back. Wow. So let me let me just mention a little stuff right here. Got a little perforation on the wall back here, okay? It's not a big deal. It's, it's, it's solid. It may be somebody left the window open. Not a big deal. Just, you know, pointing a little thing out, you know. If you come here and nitpick that, man, oh, uh, we'll, we'll buy you a burger and show you the gate. <laughs> no, no, nothing to be smart here, but some people do. Most, thank God, most people are, you know, like, like normal people who you're watching, but there are some people out there, man, they, they expect 2005 to be 2019, never is going to happen. All right, let's see. A little seat here. What my little cowboy had, I'm about six, two, six foot, but you know, it's, it's plenty of room here. Wow, the door opens up and it's got a light that comes out. See the LED light? Oh, well, and maybe you can change it to LED. Maybe we got a washer dryer. I learned from Chris what he said that you keep a little rag or something. Don't shut it all the way after you use it because the moisture and it, it creates uh, odor. So, hey, how about that? That's something I learned. It's something you learn every day. All right, another privacy door coming into the bedroom. All right, lock back up here. Uh, previous owner, Chris, he took the carpet out, put this cork hardwood floor. See, it's beautiful hardwood floors. Kind of matches this cherry cabinetry. Two slides, gives you plenty of room to walk around, as you can see, and lots of storage. That should be coat closet. Can you show them so I don't have to come around? Yep. We got a little storage up on top. Look at this. You can put some bed sheets or whatever. By the way, TV is right here. Look at this. That's a little dinky, but that's what that is. Let's see. 
Uh, we're not much of those folks that watching TV at night, but you know, if you are, it's a little TV. If you don't like this, guess what? Imagination is yours. You can put a big 50 inch TV here, the thin, the, the OLED. You can put a big TV here. <laughs> Let's see what's under the bed. If I can open it, maybe can't. Hmm. Maybe I can't open it right now. I can't. All right. Queen size bed. Some more storage on this side. Take a look at it. It's got Corian countertops on both sides. That is a bigger vanity mirror. Oh, those drawers, they're probably big drawers there. Should be deep drawers there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some extra beds and plastic covered up so no dust. Man, you can have all this stuff. Oh, uh, turn these lights on. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Another light was off. Just nice little back wooden board, headboard, mirror there. Wow. Lights under there. Just really nice coach. I, I can't get over it how clean it is. Another little cupboard here. A little storage here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine drawers. For those full timers, they used it as a full timing in the wintertime down in Florida until they just built the house. So, uh, this would finish our interior, our exterior video. We're going to get up on top, and if you have a little time, we may get on the highway and give you a little feedback on the highway, see how it drives. Uh, this is a beautiful motorhome. Oh, one thing I wanted to add when you come up around front, boo boo, I was going to show them. Look at these recessed light. I mean, a couple of either these two bulbs are burned out or we don't know how to turn them on. Uh, but up front right here, Check this out. Chris made this thing so you can put little flower pots or a little anything, showpiece. So this was custom made. You can see the dash is kind of gradually goes down. So he, you can put it down here and make a nice little flat spot to put anything you want to put on. All right, let's get up on top and show them the roof. Here we're on top of this roof. One piece solid fiberglass roof, not rubber roof. That's fiberglass roof. We've got a max air here, max air there, max air here. Those three fantastic fan has a max air. That means you can open them up while it's raining. That's a really good thing. A solar panel. Uh, look at the skylight on top of the shower. Really well, nicely sealed. No sign or no evidence of dry crack caulking. It's in really good shape. Uh, come on up here in front. Both air conditioner shrouds are in good shape. I see one little crack. We're going to probably put a little tape up, okay? Uh, or we'll put a little silicone, no big deal, we'll take care of that. Uh, you want a new shroud? About 150 bucks, or maybe cheaper. Uh, antenna, all the caulking looks good. He also painted up on top right here. Uh, I think he had taken care of all. Look at the crown, looks nice, painted. Uh, when I was coming up, I saw a little bit of clear coat coming off on the back edge, up on top, all the way on top at the top of the ladder. Uh, so a few things I noticed, but nothing to worry about here. Actually, I'm making some shoe marks. I mean, this thing is like clean as a white as a milk. Uh, really nice motorhome. So back shroud is fine. Front shroud, we'll put a little, I think I'm going to put a little silicone on it and take care of that while it's sunny days. That is your in-motion dish back here, okay? All four slide-out toppers are in great shape. No tearing up or tearing up at the edges of them. It's in really good shape. Oh, by the way, awning, you'll look at our pictures. We don't have awning open, but awning is in great shape. Um, all right, let's get back down and uh, we'll do a little test drive and we'll call it a day. This is a beautiful motorhome. Thank you. All right, listen, we just came out the roof. Roof is in great shape. I was talking about that. You see the backup monitor where is that little tape? It's a tape or we got to bring the cable back in. And on the left of the camera, you see the little bit of spot of a clear coat coming off and the edge of it, which you can't see it from here, but where the edge. All right, so, so just uh, the cap with a fiberglass cap bent, a little clear coat's coming off. Hard to see. All right, get very, very close. You can't see it, okay? I mean, this, can you see that? In a, even bling a light, it's got a little stress crack, okay? I don't know what that is, but, I, you know, I'm nitpicking, okay? I got to do my nitpicking. All right, we open the awnings up. So you look at the acrylic uh, material. That's the fabric material. It's acrylic, not vinyl. Uh, electric awning. And entrance is electric awning. There's just two push button and it comes out. So, uh, I, I just wanted to point that out before we get on the road and test drive this motorhome. I'm really excited. My driver told me drove from Florida to here. So I drove one of the nicest motorhomes. I can tell why because it's a Freightliner XC 
Big chassis with a side mount radiator, big ISL 400, and it's 37 feet, it's short. All right, let's get on the highway. Here we are, it's a in-town driving of this 2005 Forest River Tsunami 3704 QS. I got exhaust brakes on and they're working. So I'm gonna turn them off for a second in the, uh, our city driving. Uh, by the way, it runs really well and have a uh, plenty of punch. I mean, I pushed this fuel pedal and that 400 horse is taken off. So it's a short little motorhome with a big ISL. This is the same engine ISL later on. They cranked out about 450, come, uh, 450 horsepower and they put them in a tag axle, uh, big coaches now. But it's the same motor in this 37 foot. Runs really well. Uh, let's see, we're about to take a highway here. Uh, let's see, it's got power. While we're sitting at the traffic light for a second, I'm gonna show you he's got a power sun visor for a uh, driver's side, passenger side. So really nice. Uh, music system is phenomenal. Listen to this. Let's see if it. It's, the bass is really good. Guns and Roses kicks off this hour on a totally. Guns and Roses. How about that? Bringing some old school Lee. back. Guns and Roses will also be the headliner tonight. So good for music. Live in concert. Great live. Con All right, we're gonna turn the music off for a second. We're gonna focus on the highway driving now. So here we go. My water temperature is just, uh, it doesn't have a digital, but it's, it's cool. Uh, great transmission temperature. Um, so here we go. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Runs beautifully. As you can see, my hands on the steering wheel, it's just so easy to 70 miles an hour. I mean, man, I just entered the highway and it's already at 70. Runs really good. Let's try the cruise out here. Yep, I'm on cruise at 70. Now, those folks uh, are very concerned about fuel mileages. You really get best gas mileage or diesel fuel mileage around 60, 65. So I'm gonna slow it down a little bit here. Let's see, get it down around 60. I'm just doing it with my remote. Um, the cruise control button set. Uh, let's say I'm set at 65 right now, okay? Um, here, look at the steering wheel. It's dead center. Uh, no hand shaking or any of any, anything uh, abnormality. I mean, it's just a normal driving good machine. No air noise from the door. Uh, by the way, that door window is slightly foggy, the entrance door. Uh, I've noticed that. Um, let's see, uh, we checked all the turn signals, everything worked before we took off from Florida, so uh, we'll check all that stuff. We do do a little PDI, pre-delivery inspection, that means, you know, we guarantee the water pump works, hot water heater works, well, which is uh, aqua hot heating, uh, air conditioning, heat pumps, etc. all that, and uh, it'd be in a running condition. When you come here, by the way, dash air condition is ice cold. Uh, that's that's even uh, another plus. So there's no, uh, I mean, this really nice driving machine here. Okay, uh, we have adjustable paddles, tilt steering wheel. So uh, let's see what I could add. Uh, anything to add, Lizzie? Boo -boo? Runs good. So to to uh, let's just sum it up the whole video. 2005 Forest River Tsunami 3704, 37 footer, four slide, around 80,000 miles. Very well maintained. By the way, uh, February of this year, just two months ago, he turned it into a Cummins dealership freight liner and said, service the coach. So, generator was serviced, all the filters were changed, lubed the chassis engine oil was changed, all the filters were changed. The total bill was almost, I'd say $2,700. This guy, he's an army ranger. He, he didn't take any shortcut in maintenance. So maintenance were done uh, periodically when they were required. I think we totaled up earlier, I said in my video, around $60,000. So, you know, 2005 to 19, 14 years, you divide that, I mean, it's a lot of maintenance done with the tires changing and all that, and they've been in 48 lower states. So it was a, you gotta maintain these motorhomes. Um, 
I don't know what else I can add. We have a clear Florida title in our hand, lien free. If you need financing, we help you to get financing. Folks with over 720 scores, easier to get finance, even on these older coach coaches. Uh, we take trades. Uh, we don't do towables, but we will give you a, a wholesale trading value on your fifth wheel or trailer. We like diesel trucks. We'll take that trade. All you do is take it to CarMax. Whatever they appraise, we'll give you 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 more, depending on the year, what desirable truck it is. We like truck, diesels, late model cars. No trade on classic cars. We don't know how to appraise them. So we take trades. We help you get finance. We do sell warranties, but we're not a big dealership. We never shove it down your throat. We just sell motorhomes and that's all. You can actually buy your own warranty from your insurance company or wherever you want to buy warranty. But we do sell warranty. If you'd like to get a quote, we'll give you a quote. So uh, to sum it up, beautiful motorhome, 14 years old, but is in way above average condition. Great running motorhome. We just drove from uh, Fort Myers, Florida to Greenville, South Carolina. Um, have any questions, give us a call. Our number is 864-404-0054. We prefer text communication, so text us. And if you don't know how to text, leave us a voicemail and regarding what motorhomes, and we'll get back to you. 864-404-0054, and there are other numbers listed in our advertising. We look forward to earning your business. Thank you and have a blessed day. Hey, I just wanted to add a last thing. Besides being an aqua hot heating, electrical refrigerator, it has two stage engine brakes as well. This coach has just about everything high dollar motorhome has. Uh, just want to add that, 864-404-0054. Thank you.